Forex trading became easy once I understood a concept that not a lot of people know and that same concept helped me make my first $4,000 two years ago trading Forex and in this video I'm going to be explaining and showing you the concept for free so make sure you watch till the end of this video to find out. Now to just explain how it works now let's say we have an area here right this is going to be used for the consolidation so what's going to happen is when the day ends and the new day begins so let's going to we're going to use this line to signify the start of a new day now let's say a new day starts right what's going to happen is market makers are going to set the initial high and set the initial low of the day right and then what's going to happen is once you set the initial high and low of the day the market is going to begin to consolidate between that high and low we're going to move sideways and this is going to last for about eight hours now the purpose of this consolidation the market is not just randomly consolidating the purpose of this consolidation is to accumulate contracts is to get people to buy and sell right i've, I've explained this in a couple of my videos so this is to get people to buy and sell now if you draw a line a lot of people like to trade support and resistance right so you draw a line like this so people are going to be taking trades now that is what the market maker wants that's what smart money wants they want you to get in a trade your account is useless to them if you don't enter a trade now i'm looking for i'm looking for arrows yeah so a lot of people are going to be buying at this support area here and a lot of, a lot of people are going to be selling at this resistance area here All right because of market is bouncing up and down now what's going to happen is because of people are buying and selling inside this range what's going to happen is as a result of that a lot of people's stop losses are going to be located above and below the asian range right so their stop losses are going to be located above and below all right now if market makers want to make their move down what's going to happen is they need to induce you to buy so that they can sell so what's going to happen is in order for them to induce you to buy they're going to have to push the market up all right now this push up gets you to behave in a specific way right so there are a couple of things that happens here this creates an emotional response in in a lot of people right and a lot of people trade breakouts so a lot of breakout traders are going to be buying here now when you see this happening because what's going to happen is the market is going to break this area with a lot of aggression and this is this usually happens during the london session right and a lot of people there's a strategy called the london breakout that a lot of people trade so this is going to create an emotional response in the eyes of and in the minds of traders it's going to get them to buy into the forex funder which is one of the best programs out there in the world right now are offering accounts from ten thousand dollars all the way up to one million dollars for you to trade and currently they have paid out over five hundred thousand dollars to their customers and they have a 97.5 customer satisfaction they offer a one-step evaluation account a two-step evaluation account and a rapid evaluation account so those are the type of accounts that you can choose from i personally have a, an account with them with over six figures and if you want a 50 percent discount on their accounts simply check the link in the description and also the discount code will also be in the description below because if you think about it after about eight to ten hours of of the market going sideways literally going nowhere it does bounce maybe like 10 pips 15 pips 20 pips up and down all of a sudden you have an aggressive move to the upside now this creates excitement in the market so now what's going to happen is the market is going to push up sometimes push up in three levels three pushes and take out the stop losses of these people here now sometimes what they do is if they are if they if they want everyone to have a bad day what's what they're gonna do is they're gonna do something like this all right they're gonna that's they're gonna break to the downside take out the stop losses of the people that bought and they make their move up take out the people that sold and then what's gonna happen now this is the important part what's gonna happen now is when they make this move up a lot of people are gonna be buying this all right now they push up and then they're gonna push back down, make a pullback, an aggressive pullback, and then they're gonna to begin to consolidate. Now, why exactly are they consolidating after they made this move up? Remember, they just consolidated here for about eight to ten hours, 
they have made their move up now why why are they consolidating another time now the reason why they're consolidating again remember i told you that consolidation is not random it happens for a reason and that reason is to get people to buy or sell or accumulate contracts now the push to the upside think from a market maker perspective think from the way if you're a market maker what's going to happen if you want people to sell and you just made a move up an aggressive move up right why would you be consolidating the reason why they would be consolidating after this move up is because they're trying to see if this move that they made was enough to get an, and it was enough to get people to buy was it enough to create the, the the number the amount of liquidity they need to make their move down All right so what's gonna happen is market makers show you a buy they begin to consolidate to get a lot of people to see this as a buy All right so they push the market up and they push it back down a little bit and begin to consolidate i'm trying to see okay we just made our move up what next what how are people reacting to this move that just happened now two things are going to happen here one is going to happen or the other is going to happen now the first thing that's going to happen is if market makers don't have enough liquidity to make their move after the consolidation they see that there is a need to push the market up one more time to get people to buy right to fully convince people that this is a buy they're going to push the market up one more time right now this is going to fully convince a lot of people to, that this is an uptrend the market wants to continue to the upside right and then all of a sudden the moment you click your buy button and the moment you buy anywhere inside here the market, market makers are gonna push back down and then shift out of that area trapping a lot of people in this buy now this structure then forms your second leg and forms your m and w formation in this example it forms your m formation now inside this area there's a lot of people that are gonna be trapped in here taking buys and the market is gonna shift away usually with one candle they're gonna use one candle to shift away out of that area with speed the moment you blink your eye the market is gonna move away from that area with speed now this structure this m formation this is why m and from m formations m and w formations form all right this m formation now also if you invert it a w formation usually takes about an hour to two hours to form so the moment you see this just know that an m formation usually takes about an hour to two hours to form all right so when, when you see a second leg when you see a first leg sorry just know that before they form that second leg it's going to take some time all right they use they they use this structure to trap traders now when they make this structure they're going to go all the way down let's say they want to go down for the day right they're going to push all the way down and then they're going to repeat the same cycle the same pattern at the end of the day all right and then begin to consolidate to so begin the next day all right so they start the day in consolidation and they're going to end the day back in consolidation all right like this this is the basic pattern that market makers use to induce people to buy and sell now your job as a market as a retail trader your job as a will i say smart money trader or uh, your job as a trader with this understanding with this knowledge is to look for sales in here and if possible look for buys down here now the thing is one thing to also note is that they will not always give you this second leg most of the time they will not even give you this second leg why because sometimes what's going to happen is if market makers after the consolidation they make their move up right so you have your asian session range here they make their move up all right and then they begin they push back and they begin to consolidate now if after consolidation after consolidating they see that they have enough liquidity right to make their move they're not gonna they're not gonna give you a second leg they're just gonna just fall from there so this is what it's gonna look like you're gonna have your first leg here like this and then you're gonna have they're not going to have a second leg so it's going to look like this the market's going to consolidate and just make their move out of there one way to trade this is to like take the um what's it called the break of structure right but that's a little bit more complex i'm not going to go into that right now but this is the structure you're going to get so there are different variations of this pattern sometimes they might not even consolidate sometimes what might happen is 
let's say they push to the downside they're just gonna reverse all the way like that with speed it just depends on how their books look like the amount of liquidity they have all right and their targets for the day now you can't see all those things obviously you just work with the pattern that they give you all right so with all that said let me give you guys a couple of examples on the charts of what this pattern looks like and how to trade the pattern so this is a pattern that showed up on gold now if you look at this let's just take out the indicator now in order for you to have these lines these vertical lines that are showing up right now these lines help you to identify one day from another so this signifies the start and the end of the day so it signifies a 24 hour cycle so this is one day this is another day this is another day in order for you to get this on your charts simply right click on your mouse uh, on your trading view go to settings and go to um what's it called events and go to session breaks when you turn this on you're gonna see the lines there all right so now what's gonna happen is let's just analyze this using the concept that i just told you guys about now let's say the market pushed up right and then began to consolidate this is your asian session consolidation right here all right you can see the market consolidates and for how many hours this is consolidated for about 16 hours 15 hours so imagine the market is in sideways consolidation for about 15 to 16 hours bouncing from support to resistance support to resistance just going sideways like this now all of a sudden coming into london session london session starts right here this is where london session starts coming into london session what do we have the market pushes to the upside all right so london session starts about i think yeah about nine hours after that so the market pushes to the upside and then pulls back all right so we have this push to the upside and then the market pulls back and then the market begins to what consolidate now after the consolidation what happens so it pulls back down here goes back up goes back down goes back up goes back down goes back up goes back down and then after the consolidation what happens the market tries to go back up here to induce to induce more buyers right with this candle that you can see here this candle right to induce more people to buy the moment they finished accumulating the orders and they have enough liquidity to make their move they simply shift remember i told you guys that they usually use about one candle to get out of that area as quickly as possible and trap anyone that was taking buys all the way up there so they shift the zone with just one candle the moment they shift this candle out of here it's game over for anyone that took buys in there all right so the ascetic candlestick you look for on the second leg now this looks like a an engulfing candle or you can also call it a railroad track candle this will be your entry stop loss will be above here or above here all right and the moment you enter you're in profit straight now here is a very very beautiful example so we have what our asian session consolidation in here you can even you can even um we find this to be like down here if you look at this consolidation down here all right so this is your asian session consolidation the market after consolidating breaks to the downside to take out liquidity and induce people to sell the market pushes back up begins to consolidate again here and then the market pushes back down you can see this consolidation this mini consolidation that happened here and then the market pushes back down to try to retest this area all right fails to break the low and then pushes back up you either enter here or you enter here this is your w formation in fact this is a triple bottom and you can see what happened if you draw a line here the market shifts out of that area with about one or two candles shifts out of that area and immediately traps people there and not only that to also end the day i remember i told you guys that you they also use it to end the day to, all right so before they end the end of the day they'll trap a lot of people at the highs and end the day carrying them into the next day so now you can see that this pattern also happened in here now what can you see here the market pushed to the upside one pushed one two three to the upside began to consolidate push to the upside one more time spike the highs take out the liquidity above here on the lower time frames also get people to buy 
and then the market pushes away from that area and begins to consolidate for the next day all right it's the same pattern over and over again one thing that's even crazy is that because the market is fractal meaning what happens on a lower time frame will happen on a larger time frame what happens on a lower scale will happen on a larger scale now if you look at this chart what can you see on this chart what can you see to me what i can see is it's simple this is your consolidation here all right let's just go on the one hour charts for this to be clearer so this is your consolidation here so you can just call this your asian session consolidation all right market pushes to the upside comes back down tries to go back up there fails to go back up here and then what happens comes this m formation and then pushes back down goes down goes down and then pushes back up and ends the week in consolidation this is a, this is a larger scale uh structure all right if we change this to a line chart simply just block out this and then pull up at this changes to a line chart you can see the same pattern occurring here you can see the same pattern occurring here all right the market what consolidates big to the downside w formation goes back up goes back down begins to consolidate one more time all right now there's a there's a different pattern that separates to this all right there's a different pattern that separates to that there's a different variation to this. There are two more variations to this pattern, right? Because they would not always give you this pattern. They will not always give you this. Sometimes they change it because if they always give you this, what's gonna happen is everyone's gonna is gonna notice what's happening and then everyone begins to trade this pattern. And then if everyone becomes if everyone begins to trade this pattern, then the pattern's not gonna work. Right? So so there are two more variations to this pattern, which I'm going to be breaking down in the next coming, in the upcoming videos. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on those coming, those upcoming videos. And also join, also consider joining the Telegram, the free Telegram. The link will be in the description. I also send out signals there sometimes. And I also uh, send out uh, trade breakdowns and market analysis on a day-to-day -day basis over there right now so you can join the free telegram there and the link will be in the description below and i'll see you guys in the next video peace